In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the CHRS data portal in order to download the rainfall data of any country or any region, like for example, the rainfall data for Switzerland. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So go to your local browser and type CHRS rainfall data. You will get this result click on it you will be redirected to this web page so from here we will download our rainfall data so generally speaking you have five data sets to choose from but the best data set with the highest resolution is this Persian CCS it's a real-time global high resolution 40, 4 kilometers by 4 kilometers pixel satellite precipitation product developed by the C HRS at the University of California. So this data set is available from January of 2003 until present. It covers 60 degrees south to 60 degrees north and the resolution is 0 0.04 degrees by 0 0.04 degrees. It has a, a real-time update and so we are going to use this data set in order to download them. Um, rainfall data for example for the um, switzerland country so in here as you can see you can specify the data set so we will use the persian ccs so for the time as you can see this data sets provide hourly three hours six hours daily monthly and yearly data so in our case we are going to use the yearly data and for the domain we are going to choose a country you can choose uh, a plot political division major river location so for us we are going to use country so as you can see after selecting country i have the possibility to select the desired country for my case it's switzerland so now all what I need to do is to specify the year that I want the data from. So we'll go ahead and get for example the rainfall data for 2021. I will click on visualize. So here we go as you can see we get you get the maximum rainfall, the minimum, the mean, the median. This is the color code. So now we will go ahead and download this data set. In order to do this, we will click on the download button and here you can specify which format you want. So we will go with the chief format for the compression we will need to zip and we'll click on download. So to complete the downloading process, you need to provide your email. After providing your email, you will get this link, click on it and you will get your download. At the end of the download, you will get this zip file. Right click on it and click on extract here in order to unzip it. So as you can see, we got multiple files. We will use this chief file in our GIS software. So you can use either ArcGIS or QGIS. In my case, I will use ArcGIS. After opening ArcGIS, we'll go ahead and import our chief file. In order to do this, click on this add data button then navigate to your work folder and then click on this chief file that we have just downloaded then click on add actually as it's telling me that this la layer does not contain any coordinate system so we will just click on ok and we will specify it later so there we go as you can see i got the chief file of switzerland with rainfall data inside of it so in order to specify the coordinate system of our chief file, we will go ahead and click on this catalog button. Go to your work folder, right click on your chief file, right click on it and go to properties and then go to special reference and click on edit and then choose the WGS1984 coordinate system. Then click on OK, click on apply and then OK. So I go. Now our layer has coordinate system. Go to source and you can see that coordinate system of our chief file is now 
set to WGS1984 go cancel so now we will go ahead and change the symbology of our layer in order to do this go to your chip file right click on it click on properties and then click on symbology then click on classified and here i will let the classes to five and i will change the the color i'll use this one for example then click on apply and then okay so here we go as you can see the areas in green are the are areas with less rainfall whereas in red is the maximum rainfall so i hope that you got some value from this tutorial if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of tutorials